Welcome to another Mystical Perspective. This is a talk on evolution based on some insight from Meditation Dynamics, a book by Dr. Paul Leon Masters. And it's so easy to get used to a certain pattern and repeat um, the same way of living. It's kind of safe. But we are in constant change. The planets, the stars, everything is moving. Our earth is moving and we are evolving. Now, it's a subtle thing. We don't realize it, right? But we are evolving. We can see it. It's so interesting to go to another country and see the castles where the doorways we're like five feet high. <laughs> and to see paintings where things were darker. And there is more light coming in. There is much more light coming in. And the process of evolution is not necessarily an easy one. We've seen throughout the cycles and seasons of earth and life that um, sometimes those changes and the birth pangs of growing and being born into a new way of living can be very painful. And I believe that's what we are going through when we see those who are working for more light and love and those who wish to hang on to ancient ways um, and get afraid of change. Um, we're seeing this in many ways as symptoms of evolution in our society. The law of the universe is one of constant change which includes perpetual self-evolution to ever greater perfection. Now, we can notice this in meditation. Um, however, <laughs> we often are, are our hardest and harshest judges. And as we see more, we begin to be a little shocked because we begin to see parts of ourselves that have been hidden for a long, long time, and eventually we're strong enough to begin to see things that were never seen before by us, and that's a good thing, although it may be kind of frightening sometimes, but you know, the love we have inside us is really strong enough to accept that. I was a victim of sexual abuse when I was a child, and it happened a, a few times, and I completely blocked it out. I felt safe in meditation and turning to God because of the unbelievably unconditional love and understanding I felt. But it took me years to be strong enough in that to eventually unblock myself and realize what I had gone through. And it wasn't necessarily an easy process. And it's an ongoing, evolving process. But it's a necessary process. You know, the universe is never standing still. It's keeping on. It's changing and changing. And you know that song, a change is going to come. The change has come. And more changes are coming. And we are refining our consciousness in many ways more positive states. All you have to do is look at the Insight Timer app and see how many people are meditating every day. How many meditations are available? This is an amazing process that has really grown in the last 50 years. Now we're all part of these changes going on in the universe and the law that operates universally does and can't not be operating in our life. To stand utterly still without change of any sort contradicts the nature of how everything else in the universe moves and is. But in meditation, we can understand the universal laws and see how they are either working for us and we are working with them or against them. So it's important to realize how to find greater inner peace and happiness and outer success as we continue to evolve and grow. 
the main law to understand in regard to change is that change represents a natural course of life. Flowing with change rather than fighting it creates a state of mind through which regeneration, such as change, results in positive outcomes. And think of the meaning of each of the great holidays of Christmas, a light, the Christ light born in the time of darkness, spring, the rebirth and the growth. Everything, everything points to birth, death, and regeneration. And as we grow older, we experience and find more and more people we know are dying. And we face our own death. You know, usually first it's our parents, but it doesn't have to be that way. So we learn to understand how this process of dying and being reborn is affected in our own state of consciousness and is part of our evolution, is part of this never-ending spiral of evolution that leads us to a higher state. Even in our daily life, we're very busy, we go to sleep, we regenerate, we awaken again. It's, it's the natural process. Here's an affirmation to evolve. The I am, that I am, is aware that in this very moment, I am just fine. I awaken to see that I am a child of God's unconditional love. I have the gift to choose to be happy and free. The I am that I am is aware that in this very moment, I am whole and complete just as I am. Thank you, God, and so it is. Now, most of us know the power of the I am. That's the presence, the I am spirit that is alive in the source of everything. That I am, that I am. And it's always a positive thing to meditate with. And meditate on. Here's a prayer that I wrote about evolution to evolve. Spark the flame of evolution. Breathe in the power of life. You have the opportunity to be the solution. The mystic dance of creation's rainbow of brilliant light. You are the fire of spirit burning with an eternal flame. So let the soul shine forth forever and transform the ego's game. Let the fountain of inspiration Purify your heart and mind. Drink from the holy water in heaven's garden and end that urge for fight or flight. There is a sense of being, a place of prayer that's always here, with the grace of understanding, that presence of God is always here. The I am, that I am, is aware that in this moment I am just fine. And in this existence we all experience life together here in this very space and time. So breathe in the magic of this transforming light. 
and drink from the fountain's sacred waters of life. Let the eternal fire of creation burn, for the past is just ashes in the funeral urn. It's time to awaken and see. You are a child of God's great love with the gift to choose to be happy and free. Let's take a few moments to go inside and meditate. Let's breathe in some wonderful, transforming breaths. Breathe deep. Feel that presence, the I am, that I am is present right here and now. Breathe out, let that presence fill every single cell of your body. Breathe in that I am presence and let every single part of your body, mind, and spirit be renewed, regenerated, recharged. Deeper and deeper, go into that place of the I am that I am, the light of that presence, the light of that spirit, the energy behind the light of all lights. Merge with that energy deeper and deeper. Touch the hidden dimensions there within you. Be in that place, in the center of the circle where there is no beginning or end. The source of what turns the wheel of time and feel that energy there in the source within. Be it. Do not understand or try to understand, just be it. The truth there, that perfect place of all life, fulfilling your life with the plan that is present in your very soul. Sense the possibilities that come in this time of evolution. Be open to receive how you can be open to be part of the divine plan and your purpose that is there to inspire you, present in your very soul. Breathe in the power of that light of the soul. See that that soul is present with you through all the changes in time, through all the changes in form, through all the lifetimes. The I am that I am is always there in that presence within. That is the presence of love the place of no fear. That perfect place within you exists. Open that door to that presence and find the answers you've been waiting for, always there, waiting inside, played out in every single moment in the way you live your life that constant companion of your soul and the light within is brilliant and there to energize you and guide you to that place that leads to the path where you understand your purpose in life, your course of evolution, your way to be awakened and illumined and enlightened to the living light that all of the masters and all of the teachers talk about. 
that's present right here now in that I am, that I am. Feel the peace that's present in that presence. Feel the love there in your heart of hearts. Feel the energy that feeds all of your existence. That completes you. And gives you a way to play your part. Allow that presence to always be shining forth when you turn to that inner light. Make that inner connection, that bridge within that guides you and leads you on to the path that's right. Accept this, become this, believe this, accept that I am that I am and give thanks to that ever-present presence. And now slowly come back into your conscious, full awareness and be grateful for all that you receive from the I am that I am presence. And understand the role that you play in the evolution. And understand how you can share your wisdom, your light, your love and embrace the role you have in this life. And I'll close with the Aramaic Lord's Prayer, spoken in Aramaic. Avun de Poshmaya, ni de Kadash Shema, te te Malkuta, nuwe a sevinya, akanai de Poshmaya opara. How lan lakma de sun kanan yamana. Wash woklan how bane I canada panyan shwakin a hayabe. Ula talan omnisiona. Ella pasan men bisha. Metal de la ki malkuta u haila utish bakta. La alam amin amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. And thank you for being present in the presence of the I am that I am.